What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be previewing the exotic fusion rifle called Bastion. We're going to be taking some early looks at the leaked quest steps, we're going to be taking a look at the weapon stats and perks to see why it's going to be worth your time when it does come out on January the 28th. Bastion will be the first of its kind to be a standard fusion rifle in the kinetic slot. Now we do have Arbalist, but that is a linear fusion rifle. Bastion gets some pretty cool perks as well. Its primary perk is called Saint's Fist. So you charge to fire three spreads of kinetic slugs. And with its secondary perk called Breakthrough, a portion of the weapon's damage will bypass elemental shields. So what you can expect when firing this weapon is that you will hold the charge just like a normal fusion rifle, but when it releases, it's going to release three kinetic fusion slugs. Meaning to deal out maximum damage, you will have to hit your target with all three of these slugs. The slugs will be able to penetrate any kind of elemental shield, so you do have that over penetration ability to the slugs where they'll be able to still damage an enemy through their shield. Now this could also mean that it's able to go through one enemy and possibly hit another one, but it's too early to tell if that will be the case. Now when we break down the weapon stats and hidden stats, I actually feel like this one is more specced out to be a shotgun. So it's got really high impact, it actually hits an 80 on the impact chart, but just a 33 on range range. Has pretty good stability at a 52, handling is at 34. It's got pretty slow reload speed just at a 32. The charge time for these kinetic slugs are 740 and you've got a magazine size of 5. Now as far as hidden stats go, we've got aim assist being at 65, we've got inventory size at 30, zoom is at just a 15, and it does have some pretty significant recoil at a 75. Bounce intensity is at a 25, and bounce direction tends vertical. So if the stats haven't made it abundantly clear, this is definitely a close range fusion rifle, which will be really interesting to see how it works out in gameplay. Now the Bastion also does come with hammer forged rifle liquid coils and composite stock. It also looks like the Bastion will have its own catalyst but whether that is released on day one is unknown at this point. We currently have information for one ornament on the database and that one is called Blood Memorial. Most likely it'll be available for Silver through Eververse. I do expect to see a good amount of lore surface up throughout this quest in regards to Saint-14 and Spider and the Tangled Shore overall, especially after we saw how much lore was surfaced up after the Devil's Ruin quest. As far as the process that you'll have to take to get the Bastion, currently Certainly, all of the details that we have are just data mined details, so take it for a grain of salt, but it's called a false refraction. That is the exotic quest for the Bastion, and it's going to start by speaking with Saint-14 at daily reset or weekly reset on January the 28th. The first thing he's going to require you to do is collect fallen intel by defeating fallen captains and servitors anywhere in the Tangled Shore. Once you've done this, which you have to defeat five of those, you have to visit Spider on the Tangled Shore. And he's going to send you off to complete the Lost Sector Empty Tank in Thieves Landing. Once completed, you will need to return to Spider and he's going to require you to defeat 30 challenging enemies, complete 8 public events on the Tangled Shore, and complete 10 Spider Bounties. Now just a heads up with the 10 spider bounties, I would most definitely save some bounties the week prior. Just collect those, finish them out and save them and cash them in once you've gotten to this step on the quest. Next up will require you to complete the Lost Sector Trapper's Cave in the Four Horn Gulch. After that you will be completing the Hollowed Layer Memento Strike and defeating Raisk the Waning Light. This does look to be an augmented version of the Hollowed Layer Strike. Undoubtedly it will have special modifiers and may take you into special areas throughout that strike. Once you've completed that you're going to be heading back to the tower to visit Saint-14. And at that point, that's where the data mined information stops. We don't know if at this point you will receive the Bastion or if there are further steps along the way. What you can be sure of is that as soon as that information is known, I will be getting that out to you guys. One thing's for sure though, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a quest that you're going to be done in 15 minutes like we were with the Devil's Ruin. 
Now obviously it's too early to tell if this weapon is going to be game changing or game breaking even, but just looking at its stats, its perks, and everything else that we've looked at so far, I'm definitely excited to get my hands on this. Having a fusion rifle in the kinetic slot that acts a lot like a slug or a triple shot slug shotgun is really exciting, especially when you compare it up to things like you know really good hand cannons or energy weapons out there. So I'm really excited to get my hands on the Bastion, and I wish you guys the best in luck in getting your own come January 28th. I'd love to hear your all's thoughts on this new exotic fusion rifle, if you're pretty excited about it, or if you could care less. Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button below, it's greatly appreciated, as is hitting that subscribe button for any of you that are new to the channel. Before you leave the video, be sure to check out my description below. I've got a couple of different links, but most importantly, there's a link to my Discord where you can join the Profane Nation. Until next time though, this has been Profane, and I wish you guys some happy hunting.